NCAA v. Board of Regents of University of Oklahoma, O'Bannon v. NCAA, and NCAA v. Alston are three cases that help define the scope of antitrust liability in amateur sports, specifically for the National Collegiate Athletics Association, or NCAA. In 1951, the NCAA began regulating how college football games were broadcast on television. The NCAA's original broadcast plans were very limiting and established the number of games that would air each week in different regions. The broadcast regulations also limited teams to a maximum of two television appearances per season. In 1981, the NCAA entered into agreements that gave ABC and CBS exclusive broadcast rights for college football games during the 1982-1985 seasons. As part of the agreements, the networks agreed to pay participating teams a minimum aggregate compensation. Teams could individually negotiate with the networks to televise the team's games, but the NCAA placed limits on how many times each team could appear on television. For example, the NCAA held that a team couldn't appear on television more than six times every two years. NCAA member universities, including the University of Georgia and the University of Oklahoma, created the College Football Association, or CFA. The CFA negotiated a contract that would allow NBC to broadcast the CFA school's games.